Here he is with Delilah, a Philistine woman. He's not supposed to be with a Philistine woman. He's an Israelite. They're not supposed to intermarry. Look what happens. You know, she tells him, tell me what's the secret of your strength. He's in the enemy's territory, and he's still functioning in power. And it happens, it happens, until finally he tells the whole story. Delilah called, Samson, the Philistines are upon you. He awoke from his sleep and thought, I'll go out as before and shake myself free. But he did not know that the Lord had left him. It's a picture of so much of the charismatic church of America. It's a picture of so much of the ministry that's going on. We're going to go on with our show just like we've done it in the past. We're going to go on and, and, and put on the same performance that we have and get the same results and we don't realize God's left us. Now the temple was crowded with men and women. Look, they've just mocked him. They, they make him perform. Blinded. Humiliated. And Samson prayed to the Lord, O sovereign Lord, remember me, O God. Please strengthen me just one more once more and let me with one blow get revenge on the philistines for my two eyes and samson reached toward the two central pillars which the temple stood bracing himself against him his right hand on the one and his left hand on the other and samson said let me die with the philistines his hair had started to grow back there was the renewing of grace in his life let me die with the philistines and he pushed with all his might and down came the temple and the rulers and all the people in it as he killed many more when he died than while he lived what a tragic story. What a gifted individual, uniquely gifted, called at a critical time in Israel's history. And yet the fundamental character flaws that were there from the start brought him down. He ends up blinded, his eyes gouged out. He ends up dead along with the bodies of the Philistines. He ends up with his life cut short. Friends, there are critically important lessons for us in this day and age. Because many of us are so fascinated with power. Many of us are so fascinated with anointing. Many of us are so fascinated with gifts that we have lost sight of the foundations. And if the foundations are not right, the building will come crumbling down. We need to be impressed with the things that impress God. God's not impressed with anointing. God's not impressed with your ability or my ability to speak or draw a crowd or sing or play or perform or if he heals the sick through us or drives out demons through us and gives us prophetic revelation god's not impressed with that he's never looking at that as a measure what he's looking at is the quality of our life what he's looking at is the truthfulness of what we preach and teach when do we learn not to push forth those that are not ready when do we learn not to be enamored with gifts and power and crowds and excitement Oh, I fully understand that the kingdom of God is not a matter of words only, but of power. I, I fully understand that where God's moving, there'll be growth, there'll be life. I fully understand that there are things God wants to do that, that we cannot possibly produce. And if he's not working through us, it's just human effort. But what God requires, look, think of the requirements of elders in scripture. The requirements are godly character. The requirements are godly families. The requirements are soundness in the word. Those people to serve effectively must be full of the spirit. Those people to be used by God must be anointed and carrying something because it is not human effort that'll get the job done. But we need to esteem what God esteems. God esteems those who tremble in his word like samson we were given a special anointing and call a great commission to bring spiritual restoration like samson we were nazarites in our earliest years truly set apart from this world to the lord and like samson we have been seduced by the lusts of the flesh we've lost our true strength while sleeping on delilah's lap we have broken our holy covenant with god and like samson we don't even know that his presence has greatly left us but eventually the flesh caught up with him and he reaped the awful harvest he had sown sin not the philistines not delilah not the devil became his undoing it will be our undoing too for years we've been able to live as we please so little discipline so lax in holiness so lacking in integrity that the lord has not left us or so we think whenever our enemies have come upon us we've been able to fight them away but while we've been sleeping congratulating ourselves at our endless conferences always boasting of our great deeds hardly realizing that danger is at the door the world has cut off our hair most of us don't mess up because the big things we mess up because the little things we mess up because we didn't take time to lay the proper foundations we mess up because we, we didn't dig the wells deep enough we, we mess up because we we want to skip the fundamentals these are foundational truths to us these are foundational truths it's not either or it's character and charisma it's word and spirit it's not either or but let's be impressed by the things that impress god